And our political analyst Gary Dietrich joins us on this big night in the presidential race. Gary, what does Biden need to do to win this debate? Well, mainly look like he can handle it. I mean, right? It's really about competence for him tonight. I mean, people know the issues. You know, you can talk about uh, the, you know, the COVID vaccine. You, you go into all that. But really, everybody's going to be watching to see can he do four more years in the Oval Office? That's what it's really all about. That's what the big questions have been about. And that's what the huge disparity between he and Trump have been about. I mean, of some 30 point difference between who do you think is actually up for the job. That's what it is for him. And on the other side, for Trump, it always seems to be about character. It's about temperament. It's about does he have the wherewithal to be in the Oval Office and not be, and as the White House has tried to say, unhinged. When it comes to those debate rules, we know are going to be very different than maybe we've seen in past years. Yep. Is this going to be something that helps or hurts Trump, who will be, I mean, controlled in a sense with not being able to speak maybe when he wants to, because that was a big tactic a few years ago, was interrupting and trying to interrupt. I know this is one of those things. Be careful what you wish for, because the Biden people were the ones that put those rules in place. Yeah. Right. They were the ones that said we want mics muted. We don't want any audience. They've set up all those parameters. Trump said yes to all of them. But now, particularly this week, someone in his own camp said, you know what, maybe that's not such a bad idea after yeah. all. Turning our guy's mic off. So there's some that are saying that might have actually in the long run work to help Trump. It'll be interesting to see how directional the mics are and whether you will hear the interrupting because they're going to be about eight feet apart. Right. Uh, all right. So Governor Newsom is in Atlanta. Why is he there? What's his role going to be? Well, he, he fancies himself one of the chief surrogates for the Biden Harris ticket. He's been doing that before. We saw him down at the Republican debate. Remember that when we went down and watched, you know, things at the Reagan Library. He all of a sudden showed up in the spin room at a Republican debate. Why? Oh, I don't know. Let's just say there might be some just a small interest in the White House himself. That combined with his state of the state release this week, the kids are now moving out of Sacramento for the most part, all in the same week. I think we can say there's some kind of strategic involvement going on mm. with all this. huh? Some kind. What could that be? Some oh, kind. No. Only time will tell. Though, yes. And I'm sure we're going to see it sooner rather than later. Gary, you're going to be with us all throughout the evening, giving us your perspective. So we're looking forward to that.